Hi! In this tutorial, we'll add the tab bar component to our sample project and configure it to replace the slide in navigation menu. Let's open up the slide in menu container and take a look at which screens it links to. Our tab bar will have the same three options. Let's find a tab bar by opening the global search modal using Command F on a Mac or Control F on Windows. We'll search for a tab bar, pick the one that best fits our needs, and double click it to add it to the canvas. Let's change the active text color and active icon color properties to match our project's theme. We'll click on the first tab to edit it. We want the first tab to take us to the product screen when tapped. We can easily do this by selecting the product screen from the linked screen dropdown. Then we'll set the label of the tab to products. Let's now search for a matching icon from the icons library. A tag icon should work just fine in this context. By default, the first tab is set as active in the tab bar properties. Now let's repeat the process for the second tab. We'll link it to the Track Your Order screen, set the label to Track Your Order, and search for a truck image to set as the tab icon. Let's add a third tab by clicking the plus symbol that appears above the Track Your Order tab. We'll link it to the Sign In screen. Set the label to Sign Out and choose a suitable exit icon. The icons to the left of the plus symbol we clicked earlier allow us to duplicate or delete the selected tab. To add the tab bar to the Track Your Order screen, we copy it from the Product screen and paste it into the Track Order screen. Then we set the active tab property to track your order from the drop down menu. Let's save and preview our prototype. It looks good. When each tab is tapped, it takes us to the correct screen. And that's it. Thanks for watching.